In this video, I'm gonna review the AE Juice I Want It All bundle. For those who don't know, AE Juice is a company that makes plugins and asset packs for video editors and motion designers. Instead of building everything from scratch, you use their pack manager to browse a huge library of pre-made animations and effects. You just drag and drop what you need into your project. No matter which software you use, you can still use their packs because they have created for every professional software, like After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. So in this video, I'm gonna review their I Want It All bundle, which is currently available at Hue discount due to Black Friday sale. And watch this video really carefully to the end to get an extra 10% off during any purchases. But first, let's see what we get inside this bundle. So to get this plugin, simply head over to AE Juice official website, and here you can explore all of their packs. They also provide bunch of free packs, like if you see this top 10 free product, these all packs all free to use just so you can try it out and see how the plugin works. So we will download this plugin by here and enter your email and it will automatically start the download process. Once you install this plugin successfully, restart the software. And now when you head over to Windows tab, then you can see there's some AE Juice tools. But for now, we are gonna click this AE Juice Pack Manager 4 and we will be discussing rest of them later. Here's the first look, and here you can see all the packs which AE Juice has to offer. The bottom section is free for everyone, and the one on the top are included in this bundle. And just look at this, there's so many of them, and it's impossible for me to show all of the packs in just a single video, but I'm gonna show you my best ones so far. But before this, let's understand how to work in this pack manager. So they have given a search bar so you can search your packs immediately by here. And don't worry if you don't remember them name, then just filter out what you are exactly looking for by these sections. Like if you only working with transition, then go inside this one, and here you can see all of the transition packs. And this same goes for every one of them, like titles, lower third, VFX, LUTs, and much more. And you can see there's a lot of packs inside this pack manager. This is because this bundle comes with total 130 full set of AE Juice products with lifetime access. And it's not possible to show all of them in single video, but you know what? I'm gonna show you my favorite ones and how to use them inside After Effects. So first one is this newspaper pack. And as soon I clicked that, a new menu telling us that we are inside this pack. And this pack contains all kind of newspapers elements, like text match cuts, news headlines, photos, and many different elements related to newspapers. And I use them to edit documentary videos. There's almost every scene which you ever need to showcase anything related to newspapers. Let's say I'm gonna use this one, and you can either drag and drop them into the timeline, or you just hit this important button, and it will start to download the packs, and depending on your internet connection, it will be successfully imported into your After Effects. Now, whenever I used to buy any template from Envato, what I used to do there is let's say I want to change this text, or change any photo to customize the template. I have to open multiple pre-comps to find where the text is located, and this same struggle goes for every customization. But they have made so much easier with this pack manager. Let's say I want to customize this template. So what I need to do is select the template layer which we have imported, then head over to pack manager and select this edit button. And suddenly, a new interface has been opened. Let me show you what's so cool about it. Here you can see a lot of text, which is what we have chosen. There's so much articles in this newspaper, so that's why there's all these text fields too. So we can simply change the texts by here. So let me type something else here so that you can see it works. And if I wanna change the fonts, then I don't have to go through different composition, and I can quickly do for each one of the text from here. And if you scroll down here, I can control multiple different properties. You can add depth of field, change the color to something else, or even change the newspaper color, and that's not it. You have full control to reposition the elements or even change the camera position without opening anything. And this is what this makes it so powerful. So this was for the texts, but what if I have a photo to change? So let me use this one to show you. So I've entered an edit panel while selecting the template. We can see image placeholder, and there are two ways to change them. First way is you simply clicks this choose file option and browse the file in your explorer and hit open. And if I play this, then you can see our photo is updated. But if you have already imported your media inside After Effects and don't want to browse the files every time from computer, then click on this Show button, and it will directly redirect you to Main Media Placeholder. 
and here you can simply drag and drop your media. And if I get back to main composition, then this is how it looks. Now let's see our next favorites packs, which is Digital Screen Pack. In this pack, you can find various types of digital screen animations, like headlines animation, text match cuts, searching animation with multiple perspectives. So I'm gonna choose this match cut text animation and hit import, and I will wait a bit for it to import. And then I will just select it and head over to edit panel. Now there's a lot of text to change. The smaller ones are the one which are our main text and these longer ones, and the articles which are not the main text but are important to elevate this match cut to the next level. So I'm gonna type in here something, let's say text. And because it's a match cut, that's why there's a lot of text which we need to change something. I will simply copy this and then paste it to every field except the articles ones. If you have some more time, then you can also change this articles, but let's leave that. And this is how it looks. Now let's use something else from this pack. So let me see some text highlighting effects. There's lots of options and don't know what's to show you because there's lots of cool ones. So let me choose this and wait for it to import. And let's change its main text headlines to something else. And now, when we play this animation, we can see the text highlighting isn't working properly. But don't worry, because it's really easy to fix. So let me scroll down, and here you can see the, all the controls to adjust the yellow box. And here's the controls to control the first stroke. You can change its X position or Y position, or even change stretch it to fit the longer fonts like BBAS. You can individual control color of each stroke. The second stroke is a bit longer for our text. So what we will do here, change its X scale so that it can fit according to our text. And now it looks perfect. This pack can be really helpful for you if you wanna showcase anything in digitally. My next favorite, this pack contain 900 plus seamless transitions which supports up to 4K resolution. Each transitions are divided into multiple categories. Like in the blur section, we can see what it looks like. And there's these fisheye ones which also looks really cool. And there's some glitchy one and much more, which I can't show you all, of course. So let me show you how they works. So here are some random clips, which I have downloaded just to show you how these works. So let me choose some transition from each categories. So first, I will put my playhead between both the clips so that After Effects knows where to put the transition. And we will apply this one and hit import. And this will start to download this transition. And depending your internet speed, it will be imported within some seconds. And this is how it looks. If you don't want to go to in between of two clips every time, then just select the clip on top of which you want to put transition and then apply the transition. And this will automatically add transition at the in point of the layer which you've selected. In the edit tab, you can control and blur strength, transition shifting color, its resolution, and much more. But I think it's better not to mess with it because it's already looks great. And if I don't like, I can use another one because there's lots of options to choose from. I also use this film transition packs and this frame transition because these days they are really popular and they look so premium. There are so many packs inside this bundle. And if you aren't sure which one you should use, then hold your mouse on any one of the packs and it will show what it does. There's our 130 products inside this pack. And if you buy them separately, it will cost you $8,412. But in this Black Friday sale, you can buy all of these at just $149, which is insane. And this is such a low price to get all the experience of top motion graphics designer. And this is one of the reason why some editors make so much money in the market, because they don't have so much time to create everything at their own. Instead, they use these packs to stay fast and deliver multiple high quality projects quickly. This would be a great investment in your editing career. And on top of that, it's a lifetime access, so you don't have to pay monthly to use these packs and you can quickly cover up this amount in few projects. And if you ever move to DaVinci Resolve in future, then you can still use all them using same account. So it's big deal considering all these factors. So what are you waiting for? Go grab this deal right now. And if you purchase through the link in the description and enter Empire on any packs, then you will instantly get 10% off on any purchases. If you wanna know how you can use these packs in Premiere Pro, then just comment and I will see you in the next one.